Hi guys, how are you doing? This is Sebastian from Tech Century, and in this video we are going to talk about new IMAX that might come with a 5K Retina display. So let's get started after the intro. So before we actually start talking about these new 5K Retina display IMAX, I want to take a look back at the first device to launch with Retina display and that was the iPhone 4. Now Retina itself is basically just a marketing term for ultra high resolution displays. Now there are a couple of really specific characteristics to these Retina displays. First off, usually the resolution is twice as high as the previous panel that Apple used and that was the case on the iPhones, the iPads and also on the MacBook Pros. And second up, because we get twice the resolution, the pixel count is actually four times higher than on the previous panels. And last but certainly not least, we get high quality IPS panels that have great viewing angles and color reproduction. So actually iPhones up until the iPhone 4 had a TN panel and when you now go back actually to an older iPhone and you look at the viewing angles, you're probably surprised to see how bad they really are. And so all the Apple devices that are currently in the Apple lineup with the Retina display branding are also IPS panels. So the iPhone's display resolution up until the iPhone 4 was actually 480 times 320 pixels and then the Retina display was introduced and we got resolution of 960 times 640. So a big step up in the resolution right there. The same story then continued on the latest device that Apple actually upgraded to Retina displays and those were of course the MacBook Pros with Retina display. So here on the 13 inch version we usually had resolution of 1280 times 800 on the 13 inch version and now we actually have a retina display on them with 2560 times 1600 pixels and on the 15 inch version we had 1440 by 900 and now on the retina display version we have 2880 times 1800 and so now we finally get to the new IMAX. Now currently the 21 inch iMac has only a resolution of 1920 by 1080 so full HD resolution and this is actually also the same resolution that's found on the iPhone 6 plus so you can see right there how outdated this is. And then the 27 inch iMac has a resolution of 2560 times 1440 which is also called 2K so a good resolution but especially considering the size not great by today's standards. So according to various sources Apple is currently in the final testing process of these new Retina Display iMacs. Now you've probably heard 4K all over the media in the last couple of months and while 4K is certainly the new trend, 4K actually wouldn't be enough to also bring in Retina Display here to the new iMacs, especially the 27 inch version. Because as I mentioned, usually Apple just doubles the resolution, which is also good for scaling of course. And so here on a 27 inch Retina iMac, you would actually need a resolution of 5120 times 2880 pixel. Now fortunately, actually a couple of weeks ago, Dell announced the first ever 5K display with exactly this resolution. And this is actually the model number UP2715K. So if you want, you can look that up. And this is the world's first 5K monitor that was introduced by Dell. So these panels actually exist already. Now there are a couple of technical difficulties with actually implementing these panels. So 4K was actually the highest resolution that is supported by DisplayPort. But now there's a new DisplayPort 1.3 version and this one actually supports improved 4K video performance but also 5K displays with exactly the resolution I just mentioned. So DisplayPort actually made this high resolution displays possible. So now the way is paved for Apple to basically just contact their suppliers and integrate these high resolution 5K panels into the 27 inch iMac. Now in addition to these high resolution panels, there are also supposed to be new Intel processors and also new AMD graphics cards here in these new iMacs. So that's also definitely something to look forward to. And then with DisplayPort 1.3, they should also support external 5K displays, which is also nice to see. And I'm confident that if Apple will actually release these Retina Display iMacs, that we'll also then get a new version of the Thunderbolt display with the same 5K panel. Now, last but not least, it's also possible that there will be a Retina display version here of the regular 21.5 inch version of the iMac. So that would actually bring the resolution from 1920 times 1080 to 3840 times 2160. 
So that's also a very high resolution and would be a great upgrade. Now again, this is basically just for scaling. So you won't really get more screen real estates on these machines, but you'll get much sharper text, much more details in pictures and videos. So that's certainly a big benefit to profit from. But now the big question of course is, when will Apple actually release these Retina Display iMacs? And it seems like they will be announced in just a couple of weeks in the Apple event that will take place in October, not only to launch new iMacs, but also to launch the new iPads and also macOS Yosemite. Now in terms of price, we don't really have any information here on these new iMacs, but I'm confident that they will be even more expensive than the current generations. And I would basically see a similar strategy to the ones on the MacBook that Apple chose when they were released so that the new Retina iMacs will be actually a premium option over the regular iMacs so that the regular iMacs won't go anywhere for now at least and that these Retina iMacs will be released additionally to them because that would also give Apple the opportunity to really spec them out with SSD storage only and then have just a high-end version with a great display with SSD storage standard and then sell them just alongside the regular iMacs and that would also just keep the price down for the entry-level iMac at around $1,000. And that's basically everything about these Retina Display iMacs. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think of these iMacs in the comment section down below. I personally have to say that I'm very excited. I really want to see Retina Displays on iMacs and also, of course, on the Thunderbolt Display. And I just hope that they won't be too expensive. But I would probably see the 27-inch iMac with Retina Display starting at around $2,000. So not cheap, but also not an overkill in terms of price. And I just hope that the new Thunderbolt display will also release for maybe a thousand dollars or maybe a little bit more. But a 27 inch Retina display, 5K Thunderbolt display, that's a mouthful, would be absolutely amazing. And I certainly can't wait. So I hope that you guys are excited as well. And again, that you enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure to like the video and also subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. See you next time.